Hey, hey, what's up, YouTube? It's GMAC back again with a ridiculous hardcore kill confirmed game. Starting off 51 0 with a double swarm, double load star, double VSAT, and a relentless gun streak, which, if you guys don't know, is a 20 gun streak without dying, not including kill streak kills. And I'm using the Scorpion Evo, and look at this fucking thing. Rat AR gun smoke style. Fucking laying people down. This gun is ridiculous. The fire rate on this thing is through the fucking roof, and you can absolutely run through enemies using this thing. Not a gun I've really used a lot, uh, kind of like the AN-94, it's one of the last guns you unlock during a prestige, so I really just haven't put very much time in with it. Uh, for a while I was prestiging kind of as fast as I can, I don't get too many chances to play for very long, so it's taking me kind of a while to get through those prestiges, but don't like to stick around at level 55 for too long before I prestige, so having either used this or the AN-94, and finally broke them out and got a swarm with both and managed to get this gameplay, with the scorpion so gonna put some time in with those I think and start leveling them up and unlocking some attachments I think I'm using fast mag and grip highly recommend both of those especially the grip this thing is kinda out of control honestly with the fire rate so you gotta be gotta be aware of that and grip can help counter that so I recommend grip highly for this and you're running through ammo so fast uh, I also recommend fast mag and scavenger and I'm not using scavenger in this gameplay and luckily I'm able to find weapons so you see, I pick up the Bloodthirsty Metal, and that's kind of something I like to use to gauge where I am on my kill streak. After a Bloodthirsty, I tend to pick up all my tags. So I'm pretty sure after a Bloodthirsty Metal, I'm at 750 points, which is getting up there close to a VSAT. So once you get that Bloodthirsty, think about starting to play a little bit more carefully, protect yourself, protect your streak, and hopefully get on up to your high kill streaks. But again, using VSAT, Lodestar, and Swarm in this gameplay. God, what a good kill streak setup. Probably one of my favorites uh, for getting a swarm. And I, on that note, I want to mention that I'm going to start a new series up. Going to be called Swarms Away. Uh, kind of showcasing some swarms with different guns on different maps with different play styles. And give some tips and tricks on how I like to go about getting a swarm. What kill streak combos, what class setups I like to use when going for those swarm gameplays. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. And hopefully this gameplay brings a little bit of excitement on the subject. Because this is just ridiculous. One of the more unbelievable games I've gotten since I started playing Black Ops 2. 51 and 0 start. Ah, oh, fuck, and it's my own damn fault I didn't go flawless. I think I was like one or maybe two kills off a of third VSAT, which, uh, you know, it's not guaranteed, but you can be pretty sure you're going to get to your highest kill streak once you get the VSAT, as long as you play it smart. So, just stupid of me, rushing there unprepared. I'm in the middle of reloading when I go around a corner and fucking bite the bullet to an LMG user. Ah, fuck, but oh well, 51 and no start, uh, glad to be bringing this guys, and I uh, hope you guys will enjoy. So, I also want to continue in this video, since this is on one of the new DLC maps, Mirage, the Hardcore Revolution series, so this is kind of a dual series video, hope you guys don't think that's cheap, or that's kind of a cop out, but I just, man, I don't see myself getting a better gameplay on this map, 51 and fucking no, that's just retarded, don't see myself getting one, so I figured I'd talk about Mirage a little bit while we're on this map, and while we're in this gameplay, so... This is probably my favorite map out of the DLC, in all honesty. Really like Grind as well, but man, this map is really, really good. And and I, actually, the, kind of the same goes for Grind is one thing I'm going to say. When you're getting a swarm, try to stay inside. I don't do a good job of that in this, but if they can, if you can take control of that middle building and keep them outside, the swarm will go fucking ham on this map. And same for Grind, but again, this map is great, I think. It's got very good balance from front to back. Not very good balance from left to right. I think the pool side of the map is definitely the much better area of the map to be playing on. Uh, for my play style, anyway. Good bits of cover kind of all over the place. You can get around the map that way. Uh, and you can also get a gauge for where they're spawning. I definitely don't recommend staying inside. Although the inside is a definite hot zone. It's definitely one of the areas where your enemies are going to be using to traverse the map. Uh, but if you're outside, you can not only see where your enemies are coming from, but you can see where your teammates are coming from. And that's the most important thing for me, anyway, in Hardcore. Um, without the use of a UAV or an SR-71 or VSAT, whatever you want to call it, uh, the only thing you have to judge where the enemies are going to come from is the positioning of your teammates. So I like to stay outside so I can see where my teammates are coming. And there you see I pick up a team kill. That's, that's something you got to be so aware of. I think Lodestar is one of the best kill streaks in the game. You can rain some fucking death with the Lodestar, but... If you guys watch a bunch of those ground war players that put up those ridiculous numbers, they're just firing missile after missile after missile. And uh, one of their biggest tips for using a load star is aim after you fire the missile. And I cannot disagree with that more for hardcore game modes. Oh my god, if you're if you're not careful when that load star, you will team kill and you will get kicked. So be so, so aware of that. 
the last thing I wanted to do was get kicked from this game when I was already like 40 and 0 or something retarded. So I was so careful with the load star, and here I make a mistake. I uh, kind of all by myself. I want to see where the enemies are, so I call on the VSAT, and they're all on the other side of the map. And I'm on this such a good streak. I just don't want to risk going across all those open lines of sight to get into the face of the enemy. So I kind of waste this VSAT and settle for calling the load star right here. So it could have been a triple swarm if I was smarter with that VSAT, but uh, not going to complain. 51 and 0, fucking A. Anyway, though, back to Mirage. Great map, I think. Again, really good balance and, and stay outside. You don't want to hold down that middle area unless you have a swarm up. And uh, there is one broken spawn that I've noticed in this map, and that's kind of something I've noticed consistently through the different DLCs, is maybe one place where the spawns are a little bit broken. Uh, and that is actually in the room I'm laying down in right now, calling my Lodestar in. If you are, no matter how close you are to that room, people are still going to spawn in there, so be aware of that. You can really clean up like five, six, seven, eight guys in a row if you're in a good spot and they can kind of keep coming out that doorway at you. Man, that shit can be ridiculous, but it can also really work against you if you get over-aggressive and you're too deep into their spawn. Uh, they'll come out of that door in a fucking horde and overwhelm you, so be very, very careful. Uh, but you see here, uh, still didn't pick up that swarm. I was really, really hoping that between the VSAT assists and the team confirms and the kills I was getting with the Lodestar that I would get on up to that swarm, but uh, no need to overpress the issue. I, there's no way I'm more than like one kill off at this point. Uh, and, I, and I stress that in every video and honestly hardcore is kind of more and more I've gotten into playing hardcore which honestly it's really all I'm playing at this point is uh, hardcore kill confirmed and hardcore search and destroy play a little bit of TDM uh, but really like to have the confirms out there to help me get my streak so kind of find it really difficult to get the high streaks in TDM and that can make it a little bit boring in my opinion but uh, uh, the more I play hardcore the more I get a little more conservative with my play style I still prefer to rush at the enemy uh, but once I'm in their spawn, I've kind of adopted the style of just kind of stopping once I'm in their spawn uh, and not overpressing their spawn and causing the flip because you can't predict. I play solo most of the time, and you just can't predict what randoms are going to do. They can totally fuck up your spawn rush. They can totally fuck up your spawn flip. There's no way to account for what they're going to do. So if you notice at the beginning of this gameplay, I got all the way over to their side of the map, and then I just hung out in the kind of intermediate area between their spawn and the middle of the map. And... Man, that's been working so well for me. So if you guys are having trouble being super aggressive, tone it down just one notch. Don't go all the way down to where you're kind of sitting in the middle and waiting for guys to come into your view. But at the same time, don't press all the way into their spawn in order to flip it because that can get you in trouble as well, especially if you're playing solo and you have random teammates. But uh, hope you guys enjoy and you guys from the HCU, as I think this video is going to go up on the Hardcore Union channel, hope you enjoy it as well. And come check out the Swarms Away series, guys. And until next time, it's GMAT. Peace. Friendly hunter killer drone deployed.